America is Christianity. Yeah, amen. In, in Iran, Islam is falling to pieces. Christianity is exploding in Iran. And when and that, only fifty percent of Arabs now are Muslim, and, and that that will have a no, no. There's more than that, They're, but most no, of um, them, like Arab, like Arabs, just Arab, like that are no, no, Arab that's, racially. That, that, that's wrong. No, right. It's just wrong. <laughs> the, 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 in terms of in terms of Islam, there are more Muslims becoming Christians now than has ever yeah. been. Yeah. Right. When I started doing evangelism towards Muslims, yeah, and that's a long time ago, yeah. right. If you met a Muslim who'd become a Christian, it was like meeting a celebrity. It was like, whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah and you yeah. almost wanted to, to sort of touch them to see if they were real. They were so rare. Today, like which is, you know, a couple of decades later, nearly every church that I go to has at least one or two converts from Islam. Yeah. Nearly yeah. every church I go to has that. Yeah. I right? just, I, I, things are changing. I just, the I, Muslims are denying it, but things are changing. Yeah. More ex-Muslims are speaking out. And to be honest, yeah, when I watch these guys down here on their videos, yeah, like not to talk bad about anyone that ain't here to defend themselves or anything, but it's hard to understand how people genuinely believe the words that are coming out of their mouth when they've been refuted so many times. And our Christian arguments aren't false, half-assed, <laughs> twisted words we're just speaking directly your script their scriptures and our scriptures and we're winning arguments and they're coming year in year out the same arguments that Ahmed Didat brought up in 1980 yep, yep. and it's like it's like how can you still believe this and it, it, I just start to it, I think the, the passage in Matthew and I think it's quoted from Isaiah it's very important their, their hearts are callous although seeing it with the sea, and although hearing they won't they won't understand yeah. it's because they don't want to yeah they don't want to they, they don't want to be what they were raised the thing to is be. the thing is that where they're getting that information from is they're hearing it they're in an echo yeah. chamber yeah so when you come and we see it all the time when when i debate them yeah. that once you take them off that script yeah they've they, got they nothing to say yeah and right but i'll tell you something people that are you see converting to islam are converting to islam because of the cancer of liberal pluralism. Yeah. Liberal pluralism has taken our communities, stripped us of our identity, stripped us of our history, stripped us of our sense of self, and just left us as these floating individual consumers. Yeah, yeah, basically. Right? What we as Christians need to rediscover is a strong Christian identity and community, <laughs> a strong Christian brotherhood yeah. that has a sense of I'm not English, yeah. I'm Christian. Yeah. I've got my history, the history of the church. I've yeah. got my values, Christian values. I've got my beliefs, Christian beliefs. And I'm not going to let anyone bully me. Yeah. Yeah? Basically. When we've got that kind of culture, which the middle classes are never going to have unless me and you give it to them. Yeah. Yeah? When the church has that kind of culture, you watch people in our communities become Christian again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You watch as we start to push back against. I mean, in certain schools now, this is like a little bit off topic, but like talking about the, 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 the dying out of Christian values, in certain, like for example, for one thing, the Pope allowed gay people to be married in a church. Now, no, that's not true. Well, well, it's allowed. Where is it then? They, they, they did get passed. No, that, it isn't. Because there's Unitarian churches that those aren't all governed by the Pope, and they're not right, Christians. Who is it then? Who is Unitarians it? aren't Christians. Yeah, well, they're like they're like heretical. They don't believe Jesus yeah, is God. Yeah, but, yeah, exactly. But there are. There, it was there, a big there thing. Are, there are correct liberal, me, correct there, me, there are no. liberal progressive churches fellowships. It wasn't the like Pope. I think the Cong. I think elements of the Congregational Church. Uh, so where did this Pope thing come about? Because that's, no, what, that's well, the, what I, the thing is. I remember it was like in two certain, years ago. In, in it was certain, on TV. no, it's just rubbish. There are certain circles of Christians. Well, I mean, even this that it, lay, lay everything yeah. on the Pope as if he did stuff that he hasn't done, and it's just ignorance. Well, what I'm trying to say is basically, the, the forgive me for m making that mistake. I genuinely. Yeah, of course, thought. don't worry about it, man. What, what I'm trying to say is stuff like that being in the public eye, stuff like gay people being allowed to marry in a church of God. It's not politically correct to say no. You can't marry in a church of God because yeah. our religion tells us the the way to marry. Yeah. And and by by us even tolerating anything that is outside of our religion, like um, homosexuality, transgenderism, mm. even tolerating that, yeah, 
shows a message to Muslim people that we're not fit, strong in our beliefs. Yeah. And it's, it's when You're right. it's, it's all of these things added up that, that puts things away. And even if you go but, to a but, church but now, let, let, let's just let's just, cool. let's just deal with that. Let's just deal with that because because the thing is, you know, all those churches that are doing that rubbish, yeah. they're the ones that are dying. Yeah. They're dying churches, yeah, yeah. right? Are you here listening, liberal progressives? <laughs> you liberal Christians, all your churches are dying. And they're dying because you've abandoned everything that makes a person Christian, right? But our churches, the one that hold to the faith, yeah. we're not dying, no. we're growing, yeah? Go and compare the diocese above the River Thames to the diocese below the River Thames. What's the diocese? Diocese is the, the organization like of the church. I'm talking about the Church of England. Yeah, yeah. The Diocese of London, which yeah. is above the Thames, yeah. is a growing church. It's also an evangelical church that believes what yeah. Christians believe. Yeah. The diocese below the church, below the river, I forget its name. What, in South London? In, uh, below the river in, in South London, yeah? yeah? It's a different diocese. They're liberal Christians. Okay. They're a dying diocese, yeah. right? So don't worry about these fake Christians because their religions will yeah. die. Yeah. Their churches will die. Yeah. What we've got to do is stay true to the Christian faith, to the apostolic and prophetic yeah. teaching, yeah. like you are doing. But what, what, right? what I'm saying... But, but here's the other thing, right? Right. There are, there are changes happening in the Muslim world that aren't necessarily being made public. Such as, for instance, there are now some mosques where women are leading. That the, there are imams yeah, in China, yeah, women, yeah. Imams. women imams. Yeah, right. there are there are examples. They've just opened nightclubs in Saudi Arabia. Didn't know that, yeah, did you? No. Yeah, they just opened nightclubs in Saudi Arabia. There's mosques where you can, where a Muslim and a Christian can marry now as well. They're, they're, yeah, there are liberal mosques, yeah, yeah. but they don't get spotlighted by the media in the same way that liberal churches do. Yeah. Because the media has its own agenda, which is an anti-Christian agenda, yeah. and that's why they're always pushing liberal Christianity. And, yeah. Right? But the thing is, there are liberal mosques. Yeah. Yeah? In South Africa, I think there's the first mosque that, that is openly um, positive towards homosexuality. And that's in South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. So there are liberal mosques, yeah. but they don't get spotlighted by the media the same way ours in the does. same way that ours do, because the liberal media is anti-Christian. But do you know, it's our, not anti-Muslim. Our, our, our issue as well is that is that we've never had to do this. Like it's never been an issue like until recently. Like it would be a, it, it was okay before for like one church to believe one way and like, if you're not part of our church and you're part of another church it's okay for you to do your thing and us do our thing but now you're having people like when you have another religion come across it's like we need to unite as one religion and have a, a very strict way in order to sort of like spiritually defend our, ourselves Amen. and the, and the people coming afterwards Amen. as well. Amen. Me, me, but me and you are standing on all the same ground on everything. Yeah, literally. There you go. Yeah, man. That's the unity. Yeah. Yeah? Like Christians have to have that sense of identity. But I think... I think the church are those are. who are disciples of Christ. Yeah. And that doesn't matter whether you're in a Catholic church or, or a Protestant church yeah. or an Orthodox church. If you're a disciple of Christ, you're a Christian, and we need to stand together. Yeah, well, doesn't church, church just uh, in the Young's literal translation, it's an assembly. It's yeah. The assembly, we're just the assembly of, of Christians. And like, right now we are assembled in Christ's yeah, name. Yeah, exactly. So Christ is here amongst yeah. us. What was it? Uh, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one Amen. holy, Amen. Uh, apostolic, Catholic church. Bro, Let's I want to give you something. Let's have a look. Right? This is, um, this is the, the Mayflower, Mayflower Declaration. Yeah. Of the Christian People's Alliance, okay. which is a Christian political party. Yeah. We Christians need to have a Christian political narrative yeah. with which we can engage with the sociological and economic issues that we are contending with. Yeah. A bit like Christian concern for our nation does. Okay. Right? When we Christians educate ourselves politically, we will be able to do a better job of tackling the kind of battles that we need to, to fight yeah yeah but it's about raising a, a political awareness amongst the church yeah so to help you in your political discipleship as a Christian yeah that'll just give you food for thought okay I'll yeah have a read over this anyway bro don't be yeah. discouraged the church the cannot be beaten no we no are way. going to be triumphant yes Sharia law will collapse yes and the church will still be here yes. just as a final encouragement go on for 
1400 years, yeah. there has never been, a, since the time of Muhammad, there has never been a church on the Arabian Peninsula. There are now cathedrals inside the capital of Saudi Arabia. Amen. We are Amen not that. going to Amen lose. To and and last year, um, a swarm of locusts descended on Mecca and bit everyone up. Yeah, exactly. A swarm so of let, locusts. Let, let's just wait, 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 guys. We just we just want we just want to bear in mind, right? When God sent locusts to Egypt, it was a judgment. So when God sends locusts to Mecca, what is it? Think about that. <laughs> Hey, is they, they've never sent locusts to the Vatican. They've to Jerusalem. Never There's never been Jerusalem. swarms of locusts on Jerusalem. There's never even been swarms of locusts, like, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, man. Pleasure, pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah, take care. Nice one. Yeah. So, I, 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 Shamsi, I owe you an apology, bro, because I genuinely wanted to come and talk to you today. However, people just kept jumping on me, and so I never got round to talking to you. But. What we've seen today is again and again and again, consistently, double standards based upon judgments made against the Christian faith, which when we reverse them, Islam fails. Christians, you've got to rediscover your confidence. You've got to rediscover a muscular Christian identity. And, and it's only when the church in every part of this land verberates with a masculine energy that you are going to be in any position to turn the ship around, to turn what's going wrong in our society around. If you continue to liberalize and follow the culture, the church will continue to die. You need to learn from the working classes what it means to have a pair of balls and to man up and to stand up for your identity. Being a Christian is not just about beliefs, it's about beliefs, values, and history that give rise to a culture and an identity. And that's what you've got to hold on to. It's, got to, it's what you've got to teach. And when you start teaching that, and when that is what defines us as Christians, and when we start standing up for one another and our brothers and sisters who are being discriminated against, and our brothers and sisters who are being persecuted, only then will the world take you seriously.